Good day, all. Dr. McGuire here. My guest here, David Hill. David, how are you? Good. How are you doing today? Good. Hilltop Tutoring is where you represent Hilltop Prep Tutoring. Um, yes. And, and I'm glad we connected, David, because there are a lot of things and situations and unknowns with parents and students regarding the SAT and ACT, correct? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And you're the guy who will help me clarify and share with the parents what the heck is going on. <laughs> yes. Um, so you said parents no longer, many students and parents no longer care about the SAT and ACT. Why is that? Yeah, I mean, a lot of colleges today are not going test optional. And uh, I think parents think that's for the student's benefit. And colleges like to sell um, as if it is for the student's benefit. But reality is for the college. College is a business, and they know if they don't take the SAT and ACT, they can charge students lots of money to attend the school, and they don't have to give the students scholarships because the students who have SAT scores to qualify for scholarships. Um, so, for instance, the National Merit Scholarships, RHC scholarships, and tons of those scholarships still require an SAT and ACT score. Um, to apply and students who don't have those scores can't get that money and therefore colleges discharge the parents. So um, it really is for the benefit of the college. <laughs> yeah. the parents realize that. I think students should still make the test a priority. But I'm glad you brought that up. It's a good point. And parents need and students need to know that college is business, right? You have to do everything possible Absolutely. and do your diligence to get it done, right? Absolutely. Um, so hence the reason why you say the SAT and SAT score, ACT scores are important. Um, now, many scholarships regarding the SAT and ACT, what are the requirements there? Is, is it beneficial to have high test scores and scholarships? So what's the correlation? Yeah, so I mean, I mean first of all, a lot of schools now are going to bring the SAT score requirement back. Um, Harvard University is bringing it back in 2027, and most, school, most schools will probably follow suit with that. So, um, yeah, it's, of course, it's beneficial to have this higher score because obviously it makes you more competitive for those scholarships and just admission to colleges in general. I mean, there are colleges that still consider the test score, even if they give you the option to do tests optional, they still consider that um, and still, it's still part of your application. So definitely have a higher test score, increase your chance of getting to the college, but also getting these scholarships um, that colleges will start to reinstate back into the class of 2027. So now why, why do you think, why, why would schools not bring this back? Yeah, I mean, some, some schools may not bring it back, but uh, most schools do follow the suit of like Harvard University and these other like elite schools. So when Harvard brings sure. it back in 2007, we expect most schools to follow that um, as has, as like this happened in the past. But um, some schools may not try to bring it back because they still want to charge students an exorbitant amount of money to attend, the, attend their college. So they will try to like still say it's test optional. That way you can apply the college out test score and therefore the college doesn't have to give you scholarships. Some state schools actually are required to give students scholarships in their you know respective states based off the student's test scores. And so they will try to still sell the test optional. So students will still apply test optional or sorry, apply the out test score and therefore not have to uh, give a student a scholarship. So yeah. um, some schools are probably still trying to remain test optional, but it's best to go ahead and take that test. And Okay. Test so my data shows the college right now before they bring back the requirement, uh, college applications are up 20%-ish, you know, give or take. Right, And I think that has a lot to do with the total test optional thing. But I'm, I'm all for bringing back the standard. It's a no-brainer. Um, mm -hmm. People should embrace it and get back to, you know, <laughs> go back to the grind and get it get done, right? Absolutely. Um, what are your thoughts on parents who think they don't have to take the test? Well, I think what the SAT and ACT does, and this is like the most important part about the test, is standardized, right? Um, a lot of students go, not a lot of students, some students go to these elite, you know, uh, high schools where like they're, you know, really known and colleges know these schools um, very well. And so therefore, if the student has a high GPA at this school, the college can say, okay, well, this student did really well at this famous high school. They're a great student. However, someone like myself who came from very, you know, rural public school in Georgia, you know, me having a, a great GPA in my school doesn't mean as much. But the SAT and ACT is like my time to shine, right? It gives me an opportunity to say I'm just as good as the other students who go to these elite, you know, high schools, you know, because uh, you know you can't really compare GPA from an elite high school to one, you know, rural town sometimes, but you can't compare test scores to test scores, right? And so just like AP exams are standardized, and that's why we take AP exams, we also take these SATs and ACT tests, right? Um, so that ability to compare yourself fairly to other to other people that you're, you know, competing against is really big advantage of the tests. And so it's very important to take it. Yeah. 
What, what do you think, or what are some of the areas where students don't do well because they don't fully understand how to take the test? Like, what are some of those missing pieces? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of students feel the test is so much content. Like, they have to memorize all these things and know all these things. And, of course, they have to know some things. But a lot of it is just knowing how to take the test. And that's what we try to do here at Hilltop Prep is teach students, like, how to take this test. The College Board and the ACT organization, they don't want to tell students how to take the test because that's kind of like the whole you know, purpose of what they're doing. But we try to teach you how to take it, like what, what to look for, strategies, et cetera, because that stuff is first very easy to develop, right? You can really learn quickly how to take a test. Learning how to memorize concepts and stuff takes forever. You can quickly learn the strategies that are necessary to be successful in the test. Um, and a lot of questions that you don't know how to solve, you can still give yourself an opportunity to get it right if you know kind of what to look for, how to go about solving a problem, et cetera. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you said um, through a lot of practice and strategies, it will become natural to students. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I think memorizing stuff is so exhausting for students and they feel like they can't do that because there's so much stuff to memorize, which makes sense. I mean, there's a lot to memorize. But if you just continue to practice these strategies, it will become second nature to you to, to do this test this way, right? It's kind of natural for you. If I you know, give you some strategies and you do these strategies, every week for six weeks before you know it that's just gonna like be your natural way of taking the test right and mm -hmm. so you're gonna you know naturally be prepared to take the test so let's talk about the day of the test all the nerves right. and anxiety for some yeah <laughs> um, now with digital format correct right. Right. what are some of the best practices well what should should a student prepare for how can you ease their pain um yeah in going into that test i mean First of all, preparation, obviously, right? If, you're, if you feel like you're prepared, you're going to do well. So I think a lot of students just don't practice enough, so therefore they don't feel like they're prepared, right? If you really put the practice in, um, you know, through tons of practice tests and weeks in advance, you're going to feel just naturally more confident, number one. Um, I would say, number two, you got to not be arrogant, but you really have to believe in yourself. I think a lot of students just go in there defeated. They're like, ah, oh, you know, I can't do this. I mean, my friend who's like super smart, they got this score. I'm not smarter than them. I can't get this score. You know, you gotta be very confident in yourself. Not arrogant, but you gotta be like, hey, I put the practice in, I put the time in, I can do this. Sometimes and it's hard to decipher this too. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, um, but that's what I'm saying. If you put the if you put the practice in, then you, then you know, like, hey, I have a reason to be confident. It's not just arrogance, right? Um, and I think number three, making sure that the week before the test, you have some good practice test scores. Uh, take a practice here or there, make sure you have a good score. Let's, let's get a confidence booster. Um, you know, going to bed early, getting up early the day before the test. A lot of students wake up way too late for the test. They'll wake right. up and this is early, but you got to have your brain on for an extended period of time before the test, right? So at least two hours in advance, you should be up, you know, already moving around, just doing something. So that way your brain's just kind of focused, ready to go. Um, you know, eating a good breakfast. A lot of students don't eat well for the test. There's so many things, like the small things that people don't realize, they matter so much though. It's not just the preparation. It's, you know, how long are you sleeping? And, you know, what are you eating for the test? What did you bring to the test? Some students eat candy during the test. That's dehydrating, you know, or and you can't eat candy during the test. And there's so many students like, oh, I brought some candy. I brought some, you know, beer, like a monster energy drink. I'm like, no, 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 you got just the water. You know, you got to stay hydrated. You can't the monsters before the test, you know? Um, so stuff like that. The small things really do matter a lot, so. And get there early, right? Yes, yes. So many students like show up right before and they're stressed out. You got to be there super early relaxed calm you're on time yeah. like yeah those those things really matter they really do yeah all right so you're, you're a sharp guy this is your world your expertise your passion hilltop yeah. prep talk to me about what you do in greater detail and because you have an online presence now right you can tutor right. anybody anywhere a talk absolutely yeah yeah so i mean first of all i i tutor for four i've tutored for five years now actually um and i tutor for a lot of elite companies and I just kind of realized that, you know, tutoring can be very expensive for a lot of people. And so Hilltop Prep is, you know, really an affordable tutoring company. We don't, we're not trying to charge your arm and leg. Um, I come from a very, you know, poor kind of environment, so, you know, very rural area where we didn't have the resources to hire an elite, you know, tutor from, the, from these elite companies. But I still would appreciate a tutor when I was growing up. And I think a lot of students would need that today. And so, um, yeah, we're a very affordable tutoring company. Uh, you know, it's very laid back. We don't require a lot, a lot of upfront payments like a lot of companies. We do. We pay, you know, just go by the hour. Um, you know, we, we want to help the parents out. We offer tons of discounts if you recommend this to your friends and family. I mean, the discounts we offer are crazy. Um, we offer group courses as well to like, you know, make it just cheaper than a one-on-one -on -one call. Uh, group courses are super cheap, almost like, like cup of a, co a cup of coffee or something like that. Very cheap group course prices. Um, so yeah, we really do uh, do our best to help the parents out. I mean, we also are virtual, you know, so we can tune anyone, anywhere. 
uh, we have a website, we have TikTok, we have Facebook, we have Instagram. Um, so you can find us anywhere really. Um, so yeah, we, we, we want to help you guys out and, you know, make, make tutoring affordable and, and also still, but still good though. Right. And I think a lot of people struggle trying to find an affordable tuning company, uh, but it's also like of a good quality. And, you know, I try to really pride myself on making sure we present a good product at a good price. I love it. Talk to me about the structure of, of a session. Is there any, I know yeah. it varies and vary, but generally speaking, what does the session look like if, if one um, committed to you? Right. So, I mean, of course, like you said, it does vary. Um, for SAT and ACT prep, I mean, if it's a one-on-one -on -one court, one-on-one -on -one call like we are having now, I mean, that's really depend upon the student and what we think they need, right? So a lot of times I have them take a diagnostic test and we'll have them, you know, go through it with us. We understand the thought process, what they're seeing or not seeing, what they're getting or not getting. And then kind of from there, we'll diagnose what kind of assistance they need and, you know, really sit down with them and determine the best way to get to the score they want to get to. Um, I think a lot of tutoring companies don't do that. Also, they don't really identify the student's goal. So they start practicing the student. We want to get to know where do you want to be at and by what time, right? So you can make sure we have a plan in place that's best suited for that goal. Um, so yeah, that's the test prep. You also do, you know, K-12 math, um, college application um, essays, um, physics, et cetera. And so for those, we just like homework help typically or uh, studying for tests. And so we'll offer you practice problems to help you. We'll also do your homework with you and you know, do your study guide with you, whatever your teacher provides, we can help you with that. Make sure you understand those concepts and do well on your test. Um, and then for the group courses, of course, uh, that typically is three to four students. We try to keep it kind of small uh, at most like five students. And um, yeah, it's SAT group courses, ACT group courses on all the concepts of the test. Um, again, very cheap for those. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll do it after school for an hour or two hours. And, um, you know, you'll, you'll join the call. We'll, we'll have some uh, slides to take notes on. We'll have example questions we'll work through with the group. We'll and we try to make it interactive, we we'll ask questions and get you guys involved. So it's like a lecture, you know. Um, and we think students really do enjoy that and they benefit from that. So I, I like the fact that you said you 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 pro, you make the student take an assessment. You engage in the yeah. assessment, right? That's yeah. huge. Rather yeah. than just jump right in there. Um, but, to me, that's important. Absolutely. Yeah. Talk to me about your education. Yeah, so um, right now I'm actually a senior at Harvard University. Um, that's kind of where this all started, really. I, you know, wanted to go to Harvard University since I was like in sixth grade, and I achieved that dream. I mean, I was the first person in high school to go to Harvard University, so I was very excited about that. And I knew a lot of kids from high school wanted also to achieve great things academically. Um, and so, kind of, when I started this tutoring company, helped those kids out. But um, yeah, I'm a, a senior Harvard major in applied math and physics, and um, I plan to continue working in academia after college and you know, focusing on that. So. All right, million dollar question. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about this industry? What is it with with the, the math? Um, what, what what drives you? What's your why? Yeah, it's funny because I think a lot of people who are in this industry wanted to be in this industry for a long time. You know, they kind of like wanted, they, they knew they wanted to do this. I was exactly the opposite. Where I thought I was never going to be a teacher, never going to be a tutor, not for me. And I got into it by accident, really. Um, just knew knew a friend who worked at a local tutoring agency um, at Harvard University. And um, he's like, hey man, they're, they're paying some good money. I need some money at the time. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna go over there and see what they got. And immediately fell in love with it. I knew I had a knack for it. Um, a lot of the kids were like, you know, I explained math concepts really well, they liked what I was doing. I was like, man, I'm good at this. I, I liked it. So uh, I, just, I loved like seeing these kids start to get it. Some of kids were so frustrated the first got there, angry that they couldn't do well in school, angry that their chess scores weren't where they wanted to be, seemed disappointed, lack confidence in themselves. And just seeing them like really like, oh, I got this now. Like the, 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 I call it the click. You know, I see like the click in their eyes. You can tell as soon as they get like, I get it now. And I'm like, I love that. You know, when I see a student really get something. So um, yeah, and that's kind of. I love your passion, your enthusiasm. But that doesn't happen too often. Um, yes. And I appreciate sharing that information. But let me just go back to the, to the test for a second. Um, generally speaking, where do students need the most work? Yeah, typically, most students need help with math the most. Um, of course, every student's different, but most students struggle with the math portion of the test. Uh, math is obviously so much, and it can be kind of confusing. They try to trick you with different numbers and different ways of really asking the same question. The test writers are very good at asking the same question in nine different ways, and students really know it's the same exact question, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, math is definitely the, the biggest struggle for students. Makes but, sense. Makes sense. Yeah. All right, last question. How far in advance should they get a hold of you <laughs> before they take the test? Um, or as early as possible, ideally. I mean, the more the more time you have, the more time you have prepped, the better. But 
I would say, I mean, at least two months. I think two okay. months is probably a good time. Yeah. Okay, because because we live in this high, high pay, fast paced world, as yeah. you know, can't wait till the day before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we better get out of this. Uh, yeah. In all seriousness, seriousness, couple a couple months before would probably be, be best, yeah. right? Cool. Um, yeah. all right, David. Any any other words of encouragement you can give uh, parents and students? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's really it's for the for the students. I mean, you gotta know you can do this. I think it's so hard for some students to believe they can do this. I. Like I said, I, I came from that really rural, you know, country town where no one even heard of these schools. And, you know, it, it's very doable. Whatever your, whatever your goals are academically, you can do it. You have to believe you can do it. And then just, you know, put in the, put in the time and go get the resources you need to go do that. But whatever your dream is, please don't think it's like impossible. To, I can't go to this school. Or I can't get this GPA or this test score or this scholarship, whatever. You can do it. So. Yeah. You will help to make it happen, right? I love yes. to do you know. Hill. Bill top prep tutoring. Okay. I appreciate your time. I will, we will, we will share your information with, with our audience and really mom, dad, uh, mom, the, really the parent, the student, uh, reach out to David. Absolutely. Thank you. You're All right, David. Thank you. All right. <laughs>